The chairperson uh, for the first session is Professor Gabriela Shalev from the Faculty of Law at the Ono Academic College. Professor Shalev is the senior and most influential figure in Israel in the area of uh, contract law, as well as one of the country's most prominent legal scholars. Professor Shalev is internationally recognized, not only for her contributions in law, but also for her role as ambassador of Israel in the United Nations. Uh, please, I invite uh, the participant of the first session. Good morning, everybody, and especially our guests from uh, abroad. You're most welcome. It's a, a great cooperation between uh, Ono uh, Academic College and the Columbia Distinguished uh, Law School. So we are very happy to host you here. And I hope, uh, in spite of the weather and the traffic, you'll have a wonderful time. Next week, we have uh, another uh, conference, but uh, let me uh, open uh, this uh, uh, session uh, in which we'll discuss uh, the regulation of unique uh, contracts, uh, be it contracts that are formed uh, via the internet, agreements between spouses, and the arbitration clauses. Uh, the legal community in modern times, uh, to be exact, in the second decade of the 21st century, um, is faced with various intellectual and uh, legal challenges. These challenges are the outcome of uh, not only of new uh, technologies, but also of uh, modern lifestyles, more liberal uh, philosophies, and uh, some new phenomena. To give just one uh, example, uh, when I studied law, that was in the 60s at the Hebrew University, when we uh, discussed the formation of contract, we discussed it uh, as if uh, the parties are present, shake hands, or sign uh, written documents. That was the typical offer and acceptance. Uh, later on, I remember that my students, like 10 or 15 ye years later, asked me, what about facsimile? Can a contract be formed by facsimile? Nowadays, as we'll hear uh, later on by Professor Avery Katz, uh, the question is, uh, what happens when you click uh, the computer and uh, a contract is formed, or is it formed, uh, by uh, this uh, one click. Um, this model of offer and acceptance is one of the models that legal scholars have to adjust, adopt, uh, to the new uh, commerce. Um, another phenomenon, which will be discussed by Professor Lifshitz, is uh, what we call the new family, all kinds of new families. And this uh, uh, phenomenon in Israel has special interest because, as I'm, I'm sure all of you know, family law in Israel is governed by uh, religious uh, law, marriage and uh, divorce. Uh, so this uh, um, need to adopt a family law and more liberal philosophies to Israeli and Jewish lifestyle um, gains a special importance. And this will be discussed by our second speaker. There are many more kinds of unique or what we call special contracts. But another example, uh, and which is also the outcome of modern life, um, that ought to be, in a way, regulated is uh, um, what we call uh, the ADR, the Alternative Dispute Resolution. Um, be it a mediation, arbitration, and uh, this uh, a rising popularity of uh, Alternative Dispute Resolution uh, can be explained, I think, by the increasing caseload of traditional courts and moving all these cases to different kinds of uh, solving uh, 
uh, problems between parties. Even more than ever before, legal scholars cannot and should not be uh, confined uh, in one area of uh, learning. Thus, we have with us three distinguished speakers who I think all of them, I know all of them are experts in contract law, but not only in contract law. Professor Katz uh, is a great specialist in economics and law. Professor Lifshitz uh, is a specialist in contract law, theories, and family law. And uh, Dr. Elad uh, Finkelstein, our Elad, uh, uh, specializes not only in contract law, but also in uh, arbitration, mediation, and theories of contract. 